Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today, hopefully we're going to get to the end of uh, a plow problem I've been having with my western snow plow. Uh, every once in a while uh, the controller would stop working um, and the red light on the controller would flash. The plow would not respond to anything uh, I pushed on the controller. So. I had a whole bunch of video, I was, I was doing a bunch of changing parts and everything, but I I'm, think I'm just going to fast track this so it ain't such a long video. Uh, Western Dealer is going to tell you uh, to replace uh, 42014, that's the truck side, and 42015, which is the plow side. They're going to tell you to replace those harnesses uh, to fix the problem because that uh, big harness, which here is my old harness. Uh, this is uh, the truck side, which is longer. And this is the plow side, which is a little bit shorter and it's got that plug-in for the plow module. So they want you to replace this, or both these harnesses. So that's, that's what I did starting with the, the plow side harness. I did replace that. That did not fix the problem. Uh, I actually bought this harness right here, which is an aftermarket version of the same harness. Um, I thought that that was causing my problem because it was aftermarket. So I did end up getting a OEM, Western OEM and still would not work. It still was having trouble with this plug. I could wiggle this plug while it was plugged in and it would contact and disconnect, contact, disconnect, and even with both truck side, plow side, western OEM, it was still doing that. So what I did was is I took I took the big pins, you can see there's a, there's a space between them. Now I, I spread out the pins on my old harness trying to get it to work and it still wouldn't work but uh, this time I took the screwdriver and a little screwdriver and I stuck it in there, I spread them way out because I was afraid I was going to break them if I spread them too far. I was just spreading them a little bit at first but I spread them way out and it was actually hard to, to get it to plug in after I did that. But after I did that, that seems to have solved the problem. Uh, I have been out, I've, I've been plowing a little bit and actually it feels, the, the remote is responding so much better. I have a feeling I've been having this trouble. It's been having this trouble for a long time and it's just kind of slowly you know, kind of messed up right my remote, but now it feels like everything is so crisp that it just it just feels it feels better. Um, uh, maybe it's, it's even getting more power because it's getting a better connection or whatever. But everything just feels better on it. So um, I would suggest before you replace your harnesses, take those pins and spread them out. Uh, spread them out a good ways. Um, don't be afraid to spread them out a good way. Spread them out and then, um, you know, plug it in, to, you know, plug it in a few times, unplug it, plug it in a few times. Uh, maybe that might clean off some of the, 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 the pins or whatever. And, um, you know, if you need to spread them out again, spread them out. But that would be my suggestion. To fix this problem. Uh, then you know if you can't get it to work after you spread those pins out and and kind of clean up your your main connectors then I would I would go into replacing stuff 
But even when I did that, I still had to spread the pins out. I don't really understand that because I've had two of these uh, MVP3s now, and I've, I've, had a, I've got an old Western Pro plow. The only plug-in issues I've ever had with these plows is uh, we had a, actually we had another, it wasn't a Pro plow, it was just a standard uh, straight blade, um, and it was, it was old. And some of the pins on the other harness, the, the little pins, some of them like um, corroded and, and broke off. But other than that, I've never had the big plug have an issue. Uh, even uh, my old plow, dad's running my old plow. And that, I don't know, that's got a lot of seasons on that harness, a lot of seasons. And I've never had to spread those pins out or anything. I've never had any problems, but yeah, this is a first and it's really, it's really odd that the OEM harness didn't work until I spread the pins out, which I, I don't know. I really don't know. But like I said, if you're having that problem, I would try cleaning your pins, the big pins off and spreading them out. Spread them out a good ways. Don't just spread them out a little bit. Spread them out a good ways. And if that don't work, get 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 a new uh, truck side plow side harness. And then um, you might have to spread those pins out too because I had to. And um, yeah. So anyway, guys, hopefully this helps some people out. Um, I know I've got. I had to buy. Uh, I bought three harnesses and uh, wasted some money. I think. But live and learn, guys. Like I said, hopefully this will help someone else out and they won't have to spend the money. But anyway, I'll see you guys.